Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Inpixio. If you're not familiar with Inpixio yet, basically Inpixio is a platform that allows you to edit your video. You can download Inpixio and have it on your PCs or laptop or you can also just use their online tools. Here are some online tools that they offer that you can use online so you don't have to download the app. The first thing that they offer is background remover. They also have background changer and you can also make your background transparent within Pixio. Another things that they offer are meme maker as well as adding text to photo. And you can also convert your images into different file. So today we're going to try some of their online tools and I'm going to show you one by one on how to use it and how they work. Let's try the background remover first. So for the background remover, obviously you can upload your own pictures by clicking on the upload your photo or you can also just drag and drop the file into that box over there or if you just want to try it out and see how well it works, you can also click on the pictures that are available below. So for now, I'm going to click on one of the pictures and use it as an example for today. Once it's finished loading, you're going to get a tutorial. It says here that we can select a new background for the pictures that we're choosing. We can choose a background from any pictures that we might have. For example, I'm going to try and add these mountain pictures that I have on my PCs. I'm going to upload it and then I'm going to use it as the new background. As you can see, the background is already inserted over there. And then I can also adjust the temperature, the brightness of my background, the contrast, saturation, hue, vibrance, etc. Or if I don't to do anything manually, I can also just choose some filters and see how my background will look like if I apply some of the filter that they offer. And if I don't like how it looks like, I can just simply turn off the filters. And another thing that we could do with our background pictures is to add textures to it. For example, here I have the options to add some leaks texture, some film textures, etc. And also, if you don't like to use it, you can always just turn it off. And you can also adjust the opacity of your background. As you can see, the only things that are adjusting is the background. Your main pictures are not going to be affected by it. Or you can also just blur your background if you would like people to pay more attention to the main pictures instead of the background. To remove your background, you can just click on this box under the most popular text. And then if you would like to change the background to existing photos, you can go ahead and click on one of the photos. And as you can see, it's going to change automatically. All right, now that we're done with the background remover tools, we're going to try out the next online tools that in Pixio have. So next, we're going to try and add some text to our pictures. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. And then you're going to see the add text to photo option and then after that you're going to have to upload your own picture so you can go ahead and click on upload your photo or you can also drag and drop the pictures to this box over here for this one i'm going to use a pictures of a cat as my base pictures and then i'm going to add some wording to it so here is my pictures. As you can see on the left side of the screen, you can already see that they have a selections of text that you can choose. They already have pre-made text like the one that says say 50%, exclusive, soon, update, etc. All of these are totally customizable. So no matter what you choose, if you, for example, you like the font, but you don't like the wordings, you can just go ahead and add the text and then you can customize it. And I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm choosing this one for an example. This one says good vibes. I like the font and the color combination, but I don't really like how thick the outer strokes look like. And if you would want to change the font, you can just go ahead and click on this font box over here. And then you can just choose from the selection of font that they offer. 
there is a lot of font that you can actually choose and as you can see on the side of each font's name they show you the how the font looks like so it's going to make it easier for you to see how the font looks like without applying it. And if you would like to change the color of the font, you can choose from this color bar over here by sliding on what color you want to use. Or you can also use the eyedropper tools. The eyedropper tools is the pen symbol on top of the color box. And over here, I'm just dragging around the colors and seeing which one looks good. And after that, you can also settings or adjust the alignment. You can make it all left. You can also make it centered right or as well as justified you can only see it if your box is big enough so if you'd like to adjust the alignment go ahead and adjust the text box and then you can also adjust the outline whether it's the thickness or the colors you can also adjust the opacity of the text or you can also choose to add shadows to it and if you have more than one element, let's say you have tags, you have stickers, or you have multiple tags, you also have the options to bring each element, whether it's forwards or backward. And you can also invert your elements or your wording by clicking on this invert button over here. To customize the text or the wordings that you have already inserted, you can just go ahead and double click on the text box, highlight the word that you would like to change, and then type out what you want to write on your pictures. On the left side of the screen, you can also see there is an elements option. So in Pixio actually offers a lot of elements that you can use, such as social media logo, some banners, some emojis, some bubbles, etc. if you would like to add it to your pictures. You can also resize your pictures. You can change the width as well as the height of your pictures by clicking on the resize options on the left side menu. They also give you some size guidance on the left side of the screen. As you can see, there are some guidance for Facebook posts, Instagram posts, LinkedIn, etc. And once you're done editing your pictures, you can go ahead and download it. There is two options that you can choose. If you're using the free account, you can only choose the preview with InPixio logo. But if you're using their pro account, you can download the high definition one with no logo. So if you'd like to know the pricings of each plant, I'm going to show you right here. So here are the pricing that they offer you you can subscribe to their pro account whether it's the one with 14 day access with the price of $199 or you can also pay in Pixio yearly with the price of $59.99 and they have different benefit each payment method or each payment period have different benefit so feel free to choose whatever you feel are suitable for you and that is how you can use in Pixios to edit your picture as well as removing and editing your background. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.